On today's show, we check out a prototype robot with multifunctional capability. A restaurant in Paris is getting a tech upgrade to help service. And a London university teaches a computer how to do magic tricks. What are you doing? As a smoke bomb. We'll add it in post. No, we won't. It's Tomorrow Daily. Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm your host, Ashley Scala. Join me as always, professional sky puncture once again, Kale Anonymous. It's an illusion, Michael. It's an illusion. I just, <laughs> it's not a magic trick. It's an illusion. Not a magic trick. It's an illusion. I love Job as a magician. It's my mm -hmm. favorite thing ever. That's good stuff. Or as an illusionist, I should illusion, say. Illusion, Michael. Um, we have some really cool stuff today, so let's not waste any time. It's time for the headlines. <laughs> Okay, so I saw this robot and I got very excited because, you know, usually you see a robot and you're like, uh, this robot maybe only does one thing and how often would I need it to do this one thing? Well, this robot is a multifunctional robot designed by Flower Robotics in Tokyo. And what it does is they want to make, here it is, you can see it on the screen here, it's a little robot. It's about the size of a, it's kind of the size of a Roomba or Roomba-esque size. Uh, they want to make a robot that can do a bunch of different stuff in your house. Look at it go. Depending on what's attached to the top. Oh. And this is what's so cool. And you can like choose different types of, so this is like fuzzy logic. Yeah, you're stoked on this. Stuff like that. Yeah, oh, I'm so like jacked up on robots right now. This is like, <laughs> this is Rosie the Robot that you can have. This is called the Patin Concept. It, this is an actual prototype device. This is not just an idea that somebody has. They actually have a working prototype of this, which is really cool. Oh my God. So the video you're gonna see uh, shows this little robot and they just added a lamp attachment. So here comes the robot with a light on it and it can turn on the light for you. It can look for you. It can find where you are. It can get closer or farther away depending on how much light it decides that you need. And it will you know, come over and it'll just ding, turn on the light. Thank you, robot. Yeah, and you're like, thanks, robot. Okay, so a light, that's one thing. Which is pretty awesome. Okay, what else can you do? Uh, but there are other peripherals that it mentioned. So they have things like a little tiny garden uh, that they show. There's like okay. a little tiny, a little tiny garden, like maybe an herb garden. So you could grow like oregano in there or whatever. Um, it's cl totally cloud connected. So not only can it stream things download wise, but it can also uh, download its own updates. So no, like if it has okay, an update, it'll that's just terrifying. Itself. But what other stuff can you put on it? Okay, so the some of the things that they talked about were so here's the one with the garden. There's a plant. There's a little plant in there. Okay. Uh, but they also showed a robotic arm to help you, like you know, hold stuff, carry oh. stuff around your house. Maybe you like can't carry everything all at once. You can give it give a robot arm, uh, speakers. So it can follow you around, play some music for you. you get your own personal soundtrack. Oh yeah, DJ Roomba. Yeah, and then uh, projector even. So it could it come, come over to the wall, project something up on the wall for you. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, but the neat thing about this is, is that even if Flower Robotics doesn't create a bunch of different peripherals and attachments for this thing, they are going to provide an SDK for developers. So, so here's all the different arms and stuff that they said. So you can pick all the different types of AI, probability, fuzzy, deep learning, like all this stuff, and then it'll learn based on like what you per peripheral you put in there or whatever. Uh, but they're going to provide an SDK for developers to make peripherals for it as well. That's the way to do it. So different companies, all it's right. going to be an Android-based SDK that you're going to be able to like program different parts that you can add to this prototype. This is so, so cool. Um, and the neat thing is, is it's the working prototype is already produced. It's run on Linux. It's Arduino powered there you and, go. It has, and it has a lithium ion battery. And they're saying that they want to bring this to market in 2016. So it's only a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of robotics coming real, real, real soon. Yeah. Kale and I are talking about this. We think like next year is like next year and 2016 is going to be virtual reality and robots. Like these are going to be the two big things. Yeah. Those are the next seeing. big leaps in, in like technology. Virtual, yeah. actual physical virtual assistants, not just Siri and yeah, your phone. It's not it's just be like watches. A robot. It's going to be like robots. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, I saw cool. that and I just thought it was so cool. It's a patin or patin. P-A-T-I-N, and uh, you can check it out. You can find it online. It's so amazing. I'm just, like, really excited about it. It just looks awesome. I want to know. <laughs> I still am not fully grasping the uh, the plant on the robot. Well, I mean, it would it would measure water. So it would say when the plant needed water. And it would come over to you and be like, water? Hey, listen, this thing needs water. Help it out. <laughs> it could also say uh, this Bossy. plant's dying. It's drying out. Or it could say it's sick. Maybe it could detect a disease. It depends on what kind of sensors they have in there. But I, could, I would imagine that if you 
had a third party create something specifically for growing plants, there might be sensors inside that peripheral that would then be able to talk to okay. the main unit. All right. Kind of neat. All right. Yeah, save the plants. All right. Good. All right. Tell me about something that's happening right now. Okay, so right now, if you're in Paris or plan on going to Paris soon, there is a restaurant called Who that has upgraded their servers, their waiters. It's called Who? It's called Who. Yeah, we're not going to play that game. <laughs> okay, we're not going to play that game. Uh, they Got upgraded it. their servers with electronics, including awesome. taking your order, which they uh, they will use a Samsung Galaxy S5. Okay. And then on there, uh, so they'll take your order. Here they go. Oh, They're here's the it. app. Okay. I've seen this before. Okay. Um, but they also have a Galaxy Gear on their wrist, so they have the, the watch. Also in the kitchen, they have uh, they have tablets there too. Oh and wow! Then on, and then on the the waiter's wrists, they have uh, this the gear. They have so, the gear, right? So right, when right. your food when the food is ready, the waiter will know, or if you know, oh. like any, anything is needed, the waiter will know. So the cook can instantly. be like, "Hey, this is ready. Come food is get ready. It. Your French fries are ready. Let's do this." Wow! Uh, yeah. So it's just it's. Fully, like that. yeah, it's fully automated. Um, so it's, so it's pretty cool. Yep. Your food's not going to be sitting under a heat lamp. That's yep. nice. I so like there you that. go. So See you look. Two plates. He's, he's like, oh, the escargot is ready. Hamburger ready. ready. Yep, two plats. Two plats. So the, yeah, um, so all the uh, devices Dia. sync together Dia. using uh, AppyVox server, which is su uh, supplied by AppyCat. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. I like. I really like that. This. Because that's always a complaint about people, like they get their food and it's cold. Mm -hmm. And like waiters don't really know sometimes when food is up. So, um, you know, having a waiter be able to say like, oh, okay, this table's food is ready right now. Like I can go get that or at, even at the bar, like, oh, this person's drink is ready. It's not going to be watered down when it comes to your table or otherwise cold. I think there's less chance for mistakes, honestly. I that, like that. I go to a ramen joint that ha they use phones. Tatsu? Oh, I was going to say, I go to Tatsu and they have the iPad ordering. Right oh, there. that sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah this really cool. is, I, I look forward to seeing more stuff like this. Yeah. It's gonna, it's, it sounds pricey, but well, this is all Samsung service. stuff, too. So well, this is, is like better, ser you're getting better service mm -hmm. out of this, I would imagine. Yeah. So that's kind of neat. I wonder how all these devices work with when they get food on them. Oh, I hope, well, I would imagine, I mean, it, they're a little, well, the Galaxy S5 is waterproof. Yeah. So, I mean, I, yeah, I'm sure the there's gear, some I'm sure durability is, there. I'm sure right. there's some durability okay. there. Okay, just wash them. All right, you want to talk about a uh, magic computer? Yes. It's a, well, technically, it's, a, it's an illusionist computer. Illusion, Michael. <laughs> so this is an experiment from Queen Mary University in London, and this is kind of neat. So they taught a computer a combinatorial card trick, which are the card tricks that maybe you've seen online or around that use math to devise which card the, uh, the person has chosen. So you use like math and then you also have to memorize the order of the deck to, mm. to decide like exactly which card the person has picked. So um, here's the cool thing. So they, they have this app called Phony. <laughs> and it's kind of cool, and it, it does the counting for you. So it keeps tabs of, for the magician. It keeps tabs on the order of the deck. So it would reveal the spectator's card right there. You flip it, and then there it is right there. Whoa, so it's, it's cool. really, really neat. So this is um, the, the point of this is that it takes sort of the memorizing the deck uh, part, portion of the trick out of the magician's hands. But the nice thing about that is, is that after it learns that skill, after the computer learns that skill, it can design a card deck setup that is well beyond um, like superior versions of tricks. Like so, this computer can help a magician create superior tricks to the ones they've been doing. Wow! Just kind of neat. And then it also did this thing, which um, so you'll see they're counting these elements on a board. So there's twelve, and then this is a, a magic jigsaw puzzle. And the computer created this puzzle, and now, like when they do the recount, there's only ten. So where did the other two go? And it's a it's a geometry. It's like a clever geometry trick. Nice, it's like an nice. Equation. Very cool. Um, it's like a ge geometric principle that it uses to like make this thing. So um, really cool. Like a, kind of an interesting thing. Like not necessarily again, like not necessarily something that's going to be life altering for all of us, but. Really neat that uh, you know technology is kind of being used to integrate into things that we really maybe never even thought of, like magic. And I, I think this is really cool because a lot of times, um, you know, people you would expect people to be very skeptical about, like, oh, it's well, there's a cell phone in this trick, like obviously it's like rigged or whatever. But the neat thing is, is when they did these studies, people were totally bought it. They bought that the phone guessed, like, straight up just guessed the card. 
which is kind of neat. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like they were is very it, can I accepting. Can get that on my phone or what? I don't know. I don't know if it's in the app store. But it's called Phony. P H O N E Y. Oh, okay. I'll well, check later. But I thought it was really cool, and I just I like the idea of like teaching a computer magic that's crazy. tricks, and then having it like make better magic tricks because of that better card tricks, these combinatorial Man. card tricks. Poor magician. Super cool. Um, all right, we're going to take a quick 30 second break. We'll be right back uh, with a very cool backdoor hack it. Very interesting. Kale hasn't heard of it yet. No, uh, I excited. wanted to surprise him and it's very, very awesome. And then we will also have uh, kind of your user feedback. We'll explain and of course our phone photographer for the day. So don't click away. It's tomorrow daily. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We have a very interesting Back at Her Hack It. I'm not going to waste any time, just like the headline, so let's get into Back at Her Hack It. Okay, Kale, you haven't seen this yet. This is called Seeing Eye. Seeing Eye, okay. Seeing dash and then the letter I. It's very interesting. This is an experiment. It's kind of a social, psychological experiment. Uh, there's an artist named Mark Farad. And the experiment is that he will wear a VR headset for 28 days. It looks, I believe it's an Oculus. Uh, and he will live the life of a completely different person who will be out and about in the meat space, as I like to call it. So he will be, this other person who is actually called the other, uh, will be out and about. And this guy, Mark, will be in a little tiny room for 28 days living this person's life. Oh, cool. Via VR. So okay. he's going to be sitting at his house. All right. He'll be in a, oh, no, he's in like a room. Okay. Like they're literally like secluding him from everything that he, it's like a simple bed, a bathroom, like th very simple, very, very simple. Okay. All right. So the other, who is, that's what they're calling the, the person, the other is going to wear glasses that have a camera in them that will record their entire day. And Mark will be watching that experience from his room. He can only go to the bathroom and shower when the other does. So he can't just go whenever. He has to go when the other goes. What about eating too, I'm sure. He has to eat what the other eats and drink what the other drinks. I don't know, okay. Exact same food. Nobody will interact with him at all for 28 days with the exception of a psychologist with, uh, he's got some neuroscience training as well. So he actually won't be in the room. He'll be available via headset for one hour out of 24 a day. Wow. Uh, I believe the way that it was made to sound on the Kickstarter, people will be able to spectate the, him like what, viewing this. So people will be able to watch him at any given time, like maybe on like a live webcam stream or something like that in the room, but I'm not sure. Um, the question is that the thing that they're trying to figure out here is the, sort of the experiment is that will Mark lose his sense of self if he is living the life of someone else, even if it's virtually? Cool. It's really weird. Wow. So, Here's the even cooler thing. They're actually taking applications for the other right now. So if you want to be the other, you can apply to be the other, which is the person that Mark is going to experience his life through. Oh, I want to be the other? So here's your criteria. You have to be, it's very simple, heterosexual male in a relationship. That's it. Those are the only two things. Boom. Kale, you're in. I'm in. It's so great. Yeah, um, cool. Oh, so that's it? Like, you don't yeah. even have to have, like, an interesting life? Because I don't... I don't think so. They're okay, taking cool. applications right now on their site, which is seeing-i.co.uk. So if you want to go check that out. I, it might be that you have to be based in London, but then again, I'm not sure, because if you're just recording... Then it'll be a delay, though, It could be anywhere. And I'll be up at a different time than he will be. Here's the thing, though. He's going to have to watch it regardless, because yeah. they're going to have to bring him the food that you were eating. Yeah. So I, maybe it's that you have to be London-based, or it's eat probably easier for the for the team yeah. if you're London based but they're She's gonna, gonna need a lot of pizza <laughs> yeah yeah they're gonna make this a uh, they're gonna make this a documentary and they're gonna they're, so they're gonna do this experiment and then they're gonna compile everything together into a documentary oh man I want to do this so it's only they're only doing it once though I mean like yeah so well I mean experiment you just do like multiple times. yes and no so they're gonna do this experiment and then if you back at like the five it's pounds it's um pound sterling so if you want to back it's in UK it's in UK money not US dollars 
Um, so if you want to back it, it starts at like two pound, like it's two quid to, for, to get like a thank you or whatever, or just all oh, our gratitude or whatever. And then it goes all the way up to 5,000 pound, which is that they will do this experiment with you. So it's like, if you want to be the mark guy, then they'll, like they have like really high If you have stuff. 28 days to waste. Yeah, I mean, it's like if you're a weird, if you're an artist who has 28 days of time, but but it's really cool. That. They actually want, uh, they, so all the way through, there's all kinds of different like tier rewards or whatever, it's like set visits, and there are things like first watch privileges, credit in the documentary, like all this stuff. But they want 150,000 pounds for this. So it's it's quite a bit of money, but they have a month left to go. Okay. So they still have so time they to go. they started. They just started their Kickstarter. It's got like okay. 30 days left. Okay. So it's, uh, but really interesting. Like yeah. I, I've, ne I would have never thought about this as an experiment, but I'm sure a lot of psychologists and people who are interested in sort of the uh, the science of virtual reality and what it does to the human brain, like I'm sure this is a very interesting thing for them. Yeah, that is a long time. If with no human contact, he will have, he will not be touched. He will not be spoken to, and unless it's through that headset with his psychologist, he will not. He will just nothing. Like nothing. I got a lot of thinking to do, do about. I got a lot of thinking to do about this, but I think, I mean, you, you, if you do things like play video games, like you get something out of that. But if you're because just you watching choose. it, yeah, it's your free will. You're choosing to like veg out for 28 days and play. Right, and you're whatever. getting like some sort of like high off of actually right. playing it and you know doing doing all the actions. But, but if you're, you're just not. watching it, and then also, what if I go see like a ton of movies? <laughs> Yeah, you see like this guy's gonna get to see Interstellar for free. I doubt he's gonna be two. let into a, a movie theater with glasses. Well, and that was the other thing. It was like the other has to be be okay with this guy knowing all your internet passwords. Yeah, because you're gonna be typing all your stuff. And then also, well, not if I don't look at the keyboard. And then also, the other has to be okay with uh, if, if he has relations with his girlfriend or his wife or whoever you know he's seeing, what whoever he's in a relationship with, he has to be okay with Mark watching that. Like it because oh, it's. Oh, I'm out. You have to have these glasses on all the time until you go to sleep. Like that's it. So it's She's very not fascinating. Be cool that, yeah. And like there was a thing where I think they were saying if he's like running, then Mark has to has to run. Like he's got a jog. Like he has to keep his pace up. But and you stuff get like Mark that. to lose weight. Maybe I don't know. But this it's a really is really cool. Thing. Yeah, I'd like to know all of the details. It's is that on the video? It's super fascinating. Yeah. Well, they they have like Kickstarter video, and then if you go to their site, they have like a behind the scenes video, and they've got some information there. And then there's like a couple different places you can get info. But seeing dash I is like if you Google that, you should be able to find. Who's again? Who's putting it on? It's like it's like an art, a group of artists, okay. and like people who are interested in this sort of like science, sort of social science psychology experiment. I want to see it. I'll, I'll Very back fascinating. It. I'll back it. Yeah, I I mean I in I'm in for two bucks. So I give them like two pounds. That's yeah, fine. Let's, like let's whatever. See what happens? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean it just seems really interesting and weird. Um, okay, so this is the point in the show where we would normally hit user feedback. Unfortunately, uh, I am actually hosting the Meffy Awards this evening. Um, so, oh, yeah. I, so we recorded this episode really, really early. Uh, and when we recorded it, we actually didn't have any responses just quite yet. Oh. So we're going to bring your TD Movie Life tweet. So we, we're giving you an extra day, basically. We're giving you an extra day to send us your TD Movie Life tweets as hashtag of the day, where you're going to tell us what movie or movies, you said you you give them two. Yeah, give them two. What movies you would want to watch? What movies you'd want to watch? Unlimited. Yeah. Unlimited lifetime pass to watch these two movies. You could go anytime to a theater you yep. anytime you want and say, hey, load them up. And I said Jurassic Park and The Room, and you said I said Die Hard and Memento. Oh yeah, good choices. We yeah. It's weird choices, but good. Yeah, good weird choices. but good. Yeah. It's, I think it's like literally my life creed is weird. But good. <laughs> weird but good. Weird but good in good, a weird question way. Mark. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Um, so yeah, you but have some we, more time. But we do have, of course, our phone talker for the day. So Richie R is our phone talker for the day today, and Richie R writes to us and he says, "Photo taken with the iPhone 5S, Jupiter, Florida, on the Loxahatchee River." And I'm, there's a story to this, which is kind of cool. Oh, good. I like that. This is a photo from the best first date I've ever had. Oh, a first date. Six-hour kayaking trip from Riverbend Park to Jonathan Dickinson Park with a picnic break at Trapper Nelson's old camp. It was during our first cold front here in Florida, not a single cloud in the sky. We both love the outdoors, and I knew this would be perfect for us to do together. Lots of wildlife to be seen, from gators to manatees. 
Kale, great to see you found a new niche on YouTube. Keep up the great work, you two, watching your show every day. <laughs> so he's a YouTuber. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. I want to know if he's still with this first. I know. And see, okay, that Closer. was the thank you. That mm. was the first question I had when I read this email. I'm like, are they still together? Yes or no? Mm. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Like, which? What do you think? What's I his say name? yes. His name's Richie. Richie. Richie R. Maybe he's Richie Rich. Richie, oh my Richie. God, what is Richie Rich? Richie's my new favorite viewer of the show. So New favorite photographer? Mm -hmm. New favorite viewer. Favorite of all time. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, if you guys want to submit your photography, if you want to submit a hashtag of the day suggestion, or if you have a story idea, you can email us tomorrow at cnet.com. Uh, if you hate email, that's cool. We're on social media. We're Tomorrow Daily on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all the, all the usual suspects. And uh, of course, we are over on Google Plus at Tomorrow Daily TV. And if you're Richie R or someone like him that, that uses YouTube, Richie R. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. And if you're a listener on iTunes, don't forget to, you know, give us a good rating there and, and follow us there. Yeah, rate and review us. Yeah, It'd be so nice. Rate and review. And we if, would love that. And if you're not Richie Richie R, make sure to take someone on a on a, a date six, six hours. Hour that's kayak. A, that's a really good idea though. That's legit. Like, it's really sweet. And Richie you learn R a lot about the person. If you thought of that idea, I mean Good. That's a really You're good a idea. Good dater. Yeah, that's you a really good You shouldn't ever date. get in a relationship. You should just continually date people. Yeah, just, that's you're full of good ideas. Yeah, just date everyone. Richie Rich is a real catch. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I'm assuming your name's Richie Rich. It's Richie R. I mean, it's really sure, close. Why not? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, he's a real catch. All right, well, uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back with a whole new slate of awesome, weird technology and geek pop culture stories. Uh, but until then, be good humans, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.